Good evening, and thank you for tuning in to another week with the West Garfield Park Youth, youth Council. The best youth council on the west side of Chicago. And listen, I want to just thank uh, Can TV. Uh, I want to thank Barbara. I want to thank uh, Mike, Omari, uh, Sylvia, and all of those who are instrumental in making sure that these young folks have a platform in order to voice their concerns and do some of the positive outreach that they're doing on Can TV. So thank to all of our uh, uh, supporters and, and those who sponsored and help Can TV to get to this new facility. You should see it. It's a beautiful place. We want to thank all of those who was instrumental in making that happen, and we want you to keep tuning in every every week, right, to different shows, right. But specifically, tune in uh, to Fathers Who Care will be coming up on Thursday uh, in the next cycle. So listen, uh, as always, I want to thank the West Garfield Park Youth Council, Vernicia, the president. Uh, that's you, right? Yes. And we got Stephen, the vice president, Kiana, uh, Jasmine, uh, Derek, and Darius, and all of the other uh, uh, council members for all the work that you guys been doing. Listen, we know it's been one summer. It's been a new summer, a new new opportunity for you guys to get out there and get your jobs and, and try to get yourself acclimated to kind of make some money. So when you go back to school in the fall, you'll be on fleek, as the young folks say. I heard that. Yeah, y'all taught me that word, so that's why I said it. But listen, uh, again, you're watching uh, Can TV 21. Uh, this is the West Garfield Park Youth Council Show, and they had given me an opportunity, and I really appreciate it, to kind of host the show tonight and to kind of bring some conversation together as we try our very best to bridge the intergenerational gaps in promoting a safe and drug-free community. We want to reduce underage drinking, we want to reduce substance abuse, we want to reduce violence in our community, and we want young folks to have a positive outlook and a positive demeanor about who they are, what they are, and what their purpose in life is. So of course this show again is tailored, uh, if I didn't say it before, it's going to be tailored tonight to what? What's the title for the show you told me to talk about? Youth Involvement. It's going to be on Youth Involvement. So listen, again, you're watching Can TV. The number here is 312-738-1060. That's 312-738-1060. We say the word good together. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. Give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. Oh, you act like you didn't want to give me a kiss on the jaw. <laughs> That's tweaking. Anyway, the show can also be viewed live on www.cantv.org slash live. Again, you can tune in live at www.cantv.org slash live. Or you can call us at 312-738-1060. Okay, let's get into the, the, the conversation tonight. We're going to be talking about positive youth development. Or involvement, I'm sorry. Positive youth involvement. Positive youth involvement. So the, the lines are open now for some discussion on positive youth involvement and how can we keep our young folks actively involved in things that are positive this summer. Listen, normally, uh, unfortunately through some other stuff, but normally our young people from all over the, uh, the city of Chicago, specifically the West Side, we would always have jobs for the young folks. So the young folks would always be able to know that in the summer, this time of the year, they can always come over to Fathers Who Care and all of them would have jobs. Uh, unfortunately, through the budget cuts, please call your governor, tell your governor to do something about the budget. Do something about the budget. Call your elected officials, tell them to do something about the budget. The only state in the United States without a budget. Go figure. But anyway, we would normally have an opportunity to employ our young folks in the summer, giving the young folks something positive to do, where they would be about peer interaction, peer leadership, development, and all that other good stuff, advocacy. And unfortunately for this year, as it was last year, uh, we did not have resources that came back to the community as we used to have to employ our young folks, which is literally a travesty. I, I really believe if we're really trying to reduce violence in the community, the best way to reduce violence in the community is to give young people a job. Bow, that's rocket science. The best way to keep young folks from being actively involved in violence and to be positively involved, I'll try this one more time. Employ them, train them, give our young folks a job, give our young folks an opportunity to, to, to make a meaningful living and they'll come off the streets because they won't have time to be on the streets. They'll be at somebody's place being trained and working. So if we really care about the community, uh, Mayor Rommel, 
which I thank you for the 35,000 jobs that you have to produce. Uh, Governor Rahner, uh, uh, I really don't understand you at all. Uh, because I think what are you doing to our young people and to the state is a travesty. Uh, it, it's a shame before God that out of all of the out all of these folks who who do what they do to legislate, you don't understand that it's important for these young folks to have gainful employment. I just don't quite understand it. So I'm personally uh, I want all my taxes back that I've been paying for the last two years. <laughs> I am protesting and I'm boycotting anything and anything that had to go back to the state. I do not want to spend another dime to the state. I want all my taxes back because you're not using my taxes to empower my people. So now you got it from me. So I want my money back. <laughs> all right. I want all my taxes that I paid. I want it back right now. So let's have some conversation. We're going to have some conversation, Vernicia, about positive youth involvement. All right. In your mind. In your mind, if, I, if, if, the, if the statement came to you and the statement was, what is positive youth involvement? You would tell me what? Um, if you ask me what was positive youth mm -hmm. involvement. Right, what is it? I would say it's youth that's doing the right thing in the community, such as youth that, um, youth that, like let they self be known go into the community outreach go when they know stuff going on in the community like students and they go out on the blocks and like and protest, protest and march and, and do prayer vigils and that kind of stuff is that what you're saying yeah. and what else what else would you be saying they advocate and do other stuff like that so tell me some other stuff that you as a youth council leader have been involved in with your uh, council to be actively involved in the community I have been involved in going to the, not the White House, going to Springfield. Oh, yeah, you took some, some trips to Springfield to yes. advocate for youth activities, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's what we do with the young folks. As opposed to not doing anything, we take our young folks uh, and we take them straight to Springfield and let the young folks advocate for themselves. Here goes a, here, here goes a picture of some of that right there. You see that? And here goes some other pictures with that. Let me see if we can find some other stuff. I think there was some other stuff that we had when we was in... Uh, Springfield as well, like that was Camille Lilly, uh, Jason Irvin, and that's when we did Advocacy Day there, and that's when we did the big community forum, and of course these are activities that young folks was actively involved in when they was in the community against some of the senseless violence that was going on in the community, and they were uh, doing some rallies out in the community, so they were actively involved. Uh, it said, young people, uh, young people bridging the gaps, empowering each other through peer leadership and development, and of course that's, uh, what's that guy's name? Dilo. D-Lo, one of the dancers, and this is some community activity that these young folks are actively involved in. And of course, they are always doing something real positive. So we really want to encourage our young folks to be actively involved in, in preventing all forms of substance abuse, school and gang violence. We want to encourage our young folks to refrain from any anti-bullying and cyber-bullying activities. We want to encourage our young folks to be actively involved and in keeping each other aware of teen dating. You know, it's getting hot outside, so young folks are actively out there doing crazy stuff with each other, killing each other on L trains and stuff because they don't like each other no more. And we want you to avoid being victims of peer pressure. And we want you to understand how to deal with conflict resolution and how to empower each other while you're empowering yourselves in the community. Basically, we want you to understand how to mentor each other through peer-to-peer -peer leadership. And we want you to understand that it takes each one of us to, to, to conduct the activities that we're doing in the community. So that's just some of the activities that you, the youth group was involved in. And we want to encourage our young folks to continue to do the good stuff that you're doing. So let's get back to this question. So here go a question. How can we keep young people are actively involved in talking to us, to adults. You know, sometimes young folks don't like to talk to adults, right? Mm -hmm. They figure young adults don't understand. True. Well, we do understand. True. We just don't have the tolerance for stupidity. True. And, 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 and stuff that ain't making sense, all right? Mm -hmm. But we love to, to communicate with you. You know for a fact I'd be on Gucci. I'd be so cool, right? And then y'all tell me that I'm one of the coolest guy out here. So the reason why I'm one of the coolest guy, because I read you all, y'all give me all y'all information, I write it down, and then when y'all be talking, I be knowing what y'all be talking about, so I be in a conversation. But how can we keep other uh, 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 young people actively involved and not having a problem with communicating with other adults? How can we do that? Um, I feel like the reason, the way you can do that is by being able to relate to a young person. Relate, I like that. 
like like you said, like you, you how you just tried to say this type of stuff. I didn't say. try to say it. I said it. <laughs> I wasn't trying to say it. But I was like on, how, I was on that. but how you communicate? You saying stuff that you know we say, and you try to like somewhat act like us. And no, I don't too. try to act like y'all. I, I, I'm just hanging with y'all. I don't yeah. try to act like y'all. You got me wrong. Yeah, but <laughs> that's one of the big reasons you got to try to um, be able to relate to a young person to be able to actually. But I'm not actually listening to see, listen well, to And you. I do like talking to you all, and I do like hanging with y'all because I think you all have life, you all have energy, and I love the energy that you young folks possess. So, and then when y'all be talking and I be trying to, uh, I want to know what y'all talking about because I do want to be able to communicate. But it sounds like, it looked like we have a caller, right? So would it be fair to take the caller? Caller, you on the air to comment a question, please. Yeah, thanks for taking my call. Um, I, I kind of have a similar question as what you guys are talking about. Um, in terms of talking to or relating to um, the younger people, how exactly should we approach them and not seem, you know, like we're trying to uh, preach to them instead of we're just trying to, like, look out for their best future? How, what's the best way to approach them? So the question is, how do we approach young people, right, to not offend them, right? Did you hear that? He would like to know how can we best approach young people without young young people being offended or thinking that we're preaching to them or that we're trying to put them down. I feel like just like you guys tell us young people to think before we speak. I feel like when you hear when a young person tell you something, you shouldn't just jump into telling them what you feel. Think about what you got to say, how you should put it. Before you try to tell them, because you know a lot of young people, a lot of older people there, you know, you you tell them something, they just quit. Well, I don't, you shouldn't be doing this, you shouldn't be doing that. Back in our day, we ain't do this and all that type of stuff. I feel like people, they should just. So you're saying that we should be a little bit more sympathetic with what we yeah, say, like, empathetic to what calm we say, right? Just down, let them so think about what you need to say. Not be doing too much, as you all say. Yeah, just calm now, down. Now, not doing too much means that we don't want to re overreact. Yes. Don't Is that fair? Yes. So when uh, are you are you are you are you basically saying that if we want to engage young folks, and we want to get young people involved in the conversation, we first have to be just lighten up a little bit. Yeah, Don't be up. so overbearing. But that's when young people feel like they can't talk to you. Like they probably have one conversation with you. You probably think you got them, but then they feel like okay, I can't talk to that person because they too over dramatic with what they're saying. Well, y'all don't say over dramatic, y'all. Y'all say doing too much now. Yeah, they do. What too do much. do too much mean? I mean, like you're you're over dramatic. You're over dramatic. You're doing too much. That's the new word. So if your do if your child or your children say to you, you're doing too much. You have two options: stop doing too much or get the belt. <laughs> you remember back in the day when we used to discipline our children with the belt, you know, and then we send them to the room, and you know they come back, they be okay, you know. But now, you know, we don't use the belt, you know, so spare the rod, spoil the child. You remember, now that's what's happening. So now we're not giving any discipline to our young folks. Listen, you're watching the West Garfield Park Youth Council right now. The number here is... 312-738-1060. And we're talking about how to engage our young folks in positive activities. Also, how can we continue to bridge the intergenerational gap to promote a safe and drug-free community? Summer is up on us right now. I mean, we're in one of the most deadliest seasons that they are in, the summer. Things are happening at record pace right now. Folks are out there hot, out there in the streets getting lit, doing all kind of stuff. Or as you all say, turning up. Turn it up. And, and I don't quite understand why, but I understand what they're doing. So I'm trying to say we need to save our babies. And the best way to save our babies, to make sure that our babies are active, actively involved in some kind of positive activity, be it some social service agent. And just tell me, what are some things or some places that young folks can be involved with this summer if they want to do something positive? The West Garfield Park Youth Council, which meets every Monday at 4.30 to 6.30. And we'll actually be meeting more often since it's summertime and kids are not in school, where we can... Well, you can come and just, we do outreach while we go into the community. We talk about different stuff with different youth. We recruit different youth. We, um... We do a lot of stuff. We do different parades. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. We do special parades. Special activities. Special, special, events. Yeah, special yeah. activities. Always. Back to school Everything. events. So therefore, right. if you're a child that comes, you need school supplies going back to school. We provide all that. It's a lot of stuff. So it's a lot of stuff we do on the parades, the activities, the outreach, the peer-to-peer -peer leadership, the pitching, all that good stuff, correct? Yes. So if, they wanted, if young folks want to be involved, they can get in touch with us by calling. 773-287-5822. So, 
So if they want to be part of the West Godfrey Park Youth Council, and then and then if they want to be part of if they want to be a part of uh, the West Godfrey Park uh, community stakeholders, which are community leaders and, act, and, and advocates in the community, they can call us again at 773-287-5821. And for the men who want to be actively involved in empowering young men, because you know young men can't be what they can't see, we encourage you to give us a call at Father Sukari at, at 773-287-5821. You know, I was remiss but not to uh, uh, introduce that last guest we had, but I'm gonna do it again on, on the flip side of this thing. But before I go to talking to you, I just want to preference that our last guest was Vernicia Jones. Uh, she's the West Garfield Park uh, Youth Council President and, and, and she's actively involved in empowering folks in the community. She liked empowering folks in the community. She's college bound. She's ready to get her head straight. She into marketing and branding and social media outlets. She's one of our premier marketing uh, and social uh, outlet individuals at the agency. Our guest at this time is the vice president, Stephen Lewis. So T Stephen Lewis, please introduce yourself. Hello, um, my name is Stephen Lewis. I'm the vice president of the West Coast Hip Youth Council. I also attend college at the Malcolm X. At the Malcolm X. And how old are you, sir? I'm 23. And Stephen, how long have you been involved with the West Godfrey Park Youth Council? This will be my fifth year. Your fifth year? Consecutive? Yes. And you're how old? 23. Okay. So you came uh, around 18. Yeah. 17, 18. 18. And you've been with us since then? Yes, sir. And how, what kind of experience have you had when being part of the council? Um, I had a lot. I had a lot of experiences. Like going to Springfield, that was one of a major experience for me because I get to see I got to see every building in Springfield. Yeah, that was nice, wasn't it? And then the chambers and, and get the I chance to go on the floor and all that. Yeah, so that was really nice, wasn't it? Yes. Sir. And then you've been actively involved in working every summer with us. So you always had jobs, right? Yes. Sir. Your grandma and your mother's involved in the program. So you're not over there and they don't know where you are, but they know where you are, they know what you're doing and you're actively involved in doing it, right? So this is what we're gonna do. I think that, uh, did someone say we have a caller? So if we're gonna go and check this caller then, if that's if you don't mind, Steve, we'll get right back with you. Okay, caller, come on, you on the air, you're coming to question, please. Thank you so much for calling. Hey, how's it going today? Man, we on the field trying to make a deal and continue to do the wheel. Oh, I hear that. Uh, my, my comment was, um, you know, one way to uh, get all these little turned up people out on the street in Inglewood and, you know, what happened on the red line yesterday is cut all this little entertainment stuff off. Cut this cheeky Gucci man stuff off. This is brainwashing our kids. I don't know why these Jews are empowering this stuff. Back in my day, we didn't have that. We were, you know, we were in our books. My parents made me go to summer school and all that stuff. I mean, you know, I didn't have time to do all this stuff they doing now. And, and like you said, we are in the deadliest cities here. What are we going to do about this? I mean, they, they shouldn't have to put the National Guard like they're doing. What do you think right we now. should do? What do you think, sir, we should do? Man, I think we should uh, discontinue the social media and all that stuff on the Internet. I could restrict that from all these young people. And so that's what I think we should do. So you you're know, saying, you're saying uh, military, if I'm hearing you correctly, military, I, I, hold on a second. Are you saying that social media is playing a major role in the in the despair or the the, the, the derelict behaviors of our children, it, it is. It is. I'm gonna tell you a reason why. Uh, because uh, uh, I heard I read I was reading an article about uh, a gentleman who got a uh, shot on uh, Facebook Live and stuff. I like saw that. that. I saw that, man. I saw that. You know what? I saw that twice. He got he got shot while he was recording. I saw it twice. That's all a setup. It, it, man, it's insane. You know, I agree with you. I, I think the social media thing has has another issue to it, and I think it's uh, you know it's so sad that folks have has resorted to doing the social media murdering and all of that stuff, which is another trend. But here's what we're doing now. What we're trying to do is we're trying to bridge the gap between our young folk and and a mature adult. What we're trying to do is we're trying to trying to figure out. How can we continue to communicate with these young folks so these young folks don't feel like, as they saying, we dissing them, or what's the other word y'all say? Yeah. Doing too much, doing too much. Uh, yeah, doing too much. Uh, yeah. uh, tweaking and all that other stuff. What I'm trying to ask you now, brother, is do you have children? Um, no, I don't have any children. No, not yet. Are, are, are you a mentor to young folks in the community? I mean, you know what? I try to be like if I'm traveling on tra public transportation or I'm out in the community walking around. Well, this is what I want you to do because I feel your like spirit. That. 
This is what I want you to do. It's like they're hard headed. They don't listen. Yeah, they listen. They do listen. They just got to listen to somebody. They they ain't gonna listen to no anybody. So what I'm saying to you is I want to encourage you to get in touch with Fathers Who Care at 773-287-5821. Uh, we have all kind of men and all kind of women that come around and we mentor and empower our young folks because we strongly believe that these young people can't be what they can't see. And it's unfortunate that so many of these young people are being re are reared in communities or in homes with not both parents. They may have the mother there and not I mean, the biological father. So I'm saying... Okay, but that's no excuse. Let me, no, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not implying that it's an excuse. What I'm saying is I'm trying to give you and other Others out there an opportunity that we can come together as the village leaders and that we can all work collectively to empower each other you know there used to be a saying and I, I and I hope you can relate that it takes a village to raise a child do you believe you remember that yeah I heard that but it's like go one in out the other you know to you to do right to listen to the yeah I mean they should have to listen to the undertaker or some correction officer I would hate for that to have to happen well, what we're trying to do, good brother, what we're trying to do, we're trying to cut out those middlemen. We're trying to make sure that we educate our children with books and not with guns and social media. We're trying to have our children to produce themselves as, as scholars and not produce themselves as baby mamas and baby daddies. But I'm saying to you. But what's what, going to stop them, though? It, it, you know, no offense to them, but it's these black women out here that's, that's encouraging that. You know? Yeah, well, let me tell you this. Yeah. This is what I want you to do. I, I, believe, I believe that we're the change we need to be in the community. And and if if it, if it if it is to be, it must be again with me. You got that number I gave you, good brother? Uh, yeah, give it to me again. Seven seven three, two eight seven, five eight two one. And I want you to give us a call because we got a resource fair coming up, a, a men's resource fair that I would like for you to be involved in. It's going to be on the sixteenth of July. So I'm hoping that you would give us a call so we can keep in actively involved and keep doing some stuff. Is that fair? Yeah, that's fair. Okay, brother, stay on the line and keep listening to some other comments. Let's get to the next caller. Caller, thank you for calling. You on the air. Good evening. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, this is Miss Ripper from the South Side. The young man has just spoken what I've been talking about all along. This high-tech stuff is an artificial beginning for what we're not. It doesn't show our values as right. American black people. We're better than that. So, Miss Griffin, won't you tell us what we should do? We'll continue to listen to you over on the west side because it's the best side. Thank you, Miss Griffin. On the south side for 79 years, but the west side is the best side because he's doing a magnificent job with the young people over there. They know all the questions and all the answers that you ask the kids on the south side. They don't know. But these kids are fantastic, they're remarkable, and God bless them and continue to bless this program. Thank you. Well, Ms. Griffin, before you hang up, I got a question for you, okay? Yes, sir. Ms. Griffin, uh... I, I know it, it, you know everybody has an opinion and I respect everybody's opinion but I, I really do believe Ms. Griffin I'm against the National Guard I'm, I'm against police brutality I'm against anybody coming in here to try to patrol or, 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 or abuse our children I, I just believe that it's enough of us good people out here that we can come together and do our part to each one teach one. I just believe, Miss Griffin, if we love ourselves, then we love our babies. And if we love our babies, then we should empower our babies. Do you agree with that? You are absolutely right because our kids have the leadership. All they have to do is come over there to father who cares. And if they don't believe what Miss Griffin is saying from the South Side, they will see and hear for themselves. So and so that's and what I'm we a true believer. I believe in you. Well, and we thank you, Miss Griffin. And you know, uh, the, uh, they say that uh, to, to to them that much is given, much is required, right? And it says never no rest for the weary. So, but what we're gonna do with these young folks, Miss Griffin, in spite of what folks are saying about our babies, we're not giving up on our babies, and we're gonna keep on keep on with them. All right. So, Miss Griffin, how can we? Keep on do the good job. Miss Griffin, this is what I question for you: How can we? continue to engage our young people and, 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 to, and to make our young, pe young people feel comfortable enough to talk to their elders without being offended? I, I, I don't know what the magic is that you're using, but I, I know it's God's hand that's being laid on you. But continue on what you're doing and listen to them. Uh, yeah, that's they, it. They have the that's key. it. You're absolutely right. Miss Griffin, you're absolutely right. One of our leaders just and said that. That's the part. Yes, ma'am. 
Well, Miss Griffin, we always we always thank you, and, and please keep doing the good work you're doing. We love you, and we ask that you keep praying for us and keep supporting us. Uh, these young folks are going to be the best that they can be because we ain't going to let them go. All right? Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Miss Griffin. Okay. Do we have another caller on the line? So we the lines are open 312-738-1060. 312-738-1060. The question today is how can we engage our young people without appearing to be disrespectful or as the young folks say doing too much and how can we empower our young folks to not become chemically dependent parents too soon and or victims of this senseless violence in the community. Stephen, I want to ask you a question. What do young people gain? from participating in programs like the West Godfair Pro Park Youth Council. I understand that you all meet. What what can young folks expect to get out of that program? I understand y'all said being responsible and all that, but give me some more stuff for what they can be, what they can expect to get out of that, being involved in your program. Well, they can, what they can get is by uh, is youth leadership, mm -hmm. mentorship. Okay. Um, advocacy. Okay. Uh, self. So I understand that you are. Talking to the officials. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember you all was actively involved in advocating for young people. You've taken trips to Springfield, so those experiences you had. I understand that you are actively involved with meeting with elected officials. Have you ever met a congressman before? Yes. How many times? More than, like, a lot. How many times have you met senators? A lot. How many times have you met representatives? Every day. Every day. How many times have you been in activities where they've been actively involved in supporting you and your community? Every day. So so you are actually a leader, right? Yes. So if I told you that that you guys should continuously be involved in peer-to-peer -peer leadership, what would that mean to you? A lot. Because you can help the next person. Absolutely. So that means you are helping the next person, right? Yes, sir. And if you helping the next person, the other person help the other person, then that's a direct way that you can change things, fair? Yes. So when you when we talk about role modeling, is that important? Yes. Is 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 teamwork important? Yes. Is it? Yes. So let me ask this. Tell up young people who's watching the show today who feel hopeless, who feel like the world and just passed them by. What can they do to join your organization, Stephen? Come to our meeting every Monday at 4.30, 4.30 or 6.30 at 4540 West Washington. Now, if they wanted to get in touch with you, how could they get in touch with you? By guys? calling our number 773-287-5821. Now, do you have a website? Yes, we do. What is it? Fatherswhocare.org. Okay, fatherswhocare.org, and y'all got your own link and all that stuff in there, right? Yes. So you guys have been actively involved in, in, in the community, right? Yes. What does the what do what is it that the community need to do to help us to protect our babies? What can we do in the community to help protect our young folks? Get them involved. Get them involved. That's what we're talking about today. We're talking about getting young folks actively involved in some positive things in the neighborhood. Listen, there's so much stuff going on. We got so many events going on. And I would be remiss if I tried to tell you everything tonight. But I'm gonna tell you to give us a call at 773-287-5821. Log on to Fathers Who Care. The young folks will get the blogs and all that stuff back up. Look in the local papers. Listen, it's been a pleasure talking to you. God bless you. Stephen, God bless you. Vernisha, God bless bless you. Kiana, God bless you. I'm praying for all of you young folks this summer. This will be the last show for the West Garfield Park Youth Council tonight and to the next cycle. So we'll be coming back over with the mature folks on the show. That would be the adults. So we'll be coming back as soon as Can TV give us an opportunity. But we want to thank you all for all that you do to empower our young folks. It's been a gas, you know, as they used to say on Soul Train. It's been a stone gas, baby. All right. So listen, any comments, Steve, in closing? It's not for so. Huh? Thank you so much. And we'll see you when we see you. Take care now. Be good.